Terry, uh, you've come back here to the Dawa table here in northwest London, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. and uh, you became Muslim one week ago. One week ago, yeah. Alhamdulillah, you took the Shahada here yes. in the street uh, one week ago, and you've come back here to tell us how you've been getting on for one week, inshallah, since you become a Muslim. Okay, uh, can you tell us how you've felt after becoming a Muslim? Uh, I had a very strange feeling going home, but it was a feeling of. Um, my body felt cleansed. I go home, I have my shower. As I uh, talk to my peoples, I, I went for my shower. Again, I feel that the sins is washed from me now. Alhamdulillah. And the blessing for Allah. And uh, you've been reading the Quran, you've been praying. And uh, how, uh, what have you uh, read in the Quran? What have you learned? Um, what have I learned? That <laughs> there is only one Allah. You only sh give praise for Allah. Do not, do not, uh, do not give homage to other objects or even people. Just praise Allah. Allah will guide you. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And how do you feel when you pray, like putting your head on the ground and so on? Um, I feel Allah is answering me, but I'm still seeking the heavens. Alhamdulillah, we all are. Uh, I've noticed you've actually got a little bit of stubble. You've started growing a beard, is that right? Have you grown it or you, you haven't sh Okay. I have not shaved, no. Okay. Why is that? Uh, <laughs> it's just a feeling. I've just refused to shave now. <laughs> I just want to grow, let it grow. Yeah. Okay, and you know that this is a sunnah, the way of all the prophets, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Noah, etc., and the prophet Muhammad, peace, peace be upon, upon them all. Yeah, peace be upon him. Peace be upon him. They all had beards, you know that, okay? It's a sacrifice to God. It's not a big thing, but it's a way of getting closer to God. Of course, yes. I agree. Okay. Fantastic, mashallah. It's only one week you've been a Muslim, mashallah. Fantastic, alhamdulillah. Good. But already my eyes is beginning to open. That's how before I feel they were closed. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, it's a big, big blessing. We're so, so lucky to be Muslims. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. <laughs> Inshallah. What would you say to people who are thinking about it, who are not Muslims? Could you give them some advice? Yes, of course. Um, each man must seek their own journey. E each man chooses their own path. I feel I have chosen mine. All you do is, like I did, I, I approached a group of Muslims and I asked them to help me. Let me seek the truth. Give me, I have the Quran. Is a copy in English, my language, and I can read. And already my eyes is open more than before. Before I didn't have the the knowledge that I have now, just through reading, ordinary reading, reading and understanding and belief. The important thing is you must believe. And um, what have you seen in the Quran yourself? You read some of the Quran. You said I've read from the beginning to page 261 at the moment. Okay, you've read about 260 pages of the Quran. Uh, what have you seen in there? Um, there is, I've, what I've noticed, there is, um, Allah is, Allah is explaining to you in his own way. But each person, as I said, each person must seek for himself. Uh, it does explain about people who are non-believers. It does explain that uh, what can happen there is the hellfire for those who who wish to go there. I wish to seek Allah. So, inshallah, <laughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, any, any advice to Muslims? Would you, like to, would you like to give some advice to Muslims? I mean, I know you've been a Muslim only one week. One week. Well, one week. this is why I, feel yeah. I can't really advise other Muslims because other Muslims may have more knowledge than myself. So. But what about Muslims, uh, encouraging, Muslim, encouraging Muslims to give dawah, encouraging Muslims to invite other non-Muslims? Of course, yes, yeah. yeah. I would say, explain to the brothers, and if they are seeking Allah, then encourage, yeah, encourage them. Encourage them and guide them if you can. I've been guided, so. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Please make uh, dua for all the Muslims, inshallah. Pray for all of us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, inshallah. And because we all need I, guidance. I prayed for you. Alhamdulillah. Pray for all the Muslims, inshallah. I, I prayed for you as well. Inshallah. Pray for all of us because we need guidance and we need help from Allah we, all the time. Everyone. Uh, Everyone. I don't want to see anybody uh, making mistakes. This is why I came and asked, you know, let me find the truth. 
let me read for myself. Man should not sit in judgment unless you have that knowledge for yourself. Then you can say, well, this man is wrong or this man is right. And just to remind us how, again, please, if you don't mind, Terry, um, are you, you're from where? Where are you from, Terry? You're yeah, in Kilburn. Kilburn. So North London. Yeah. Born in London? Yeah, born in London. Okay, born in London, you're a Londoner? Yeah, a Londoner. Okay, yeah. Alhamdulillah, that's really good, thank God. Okay, Jazakallah Khan, thank you very much indeed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You never alone. You never